beautiful people welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is miss kenya for those of you who are new i do lifestyle videos i do decor videos and once in a while i do recipes and today is that day where i do decor videos i love decor i am falling in love with decor every day <laughs> you know and i am learning and i'm loving the process and today let let me share some tips that I've learned with you. I Some people have been asking me about mirrors and I thought it was to share all the tips that I know, all the tips that I have learned and believe you me, I have spent my time learning about this so you better watch. And we are talking about mirrors, you know, mirror, mirror on the wall, mirror, mirror on the wall. We are talking about mirrors and we are talking about mirrors specifically in the living room. You know, mirrors can be used in dining rooms, mirrors can be used in the bedroom, mirrors can be used in the bathroom, of course, but we are focusing on the living room here today. And so we start with the, with the obvious question, why should you use mirrors for the de for decoration? Why should you use mirrors in your living room? And the obvious reason, number one, is mirrors create an illusion of space. They make your house seem larger than it actually is. That is one of the reasons. And it, is, it actually is one of the major reasons why you should use your mirrors, especially if you are in a tiny living room. For those of you all are staying in apartments you should use you should consider using a mirror because it will make your space seem larger than it actually is number two reason why you should use mirrors for decoration in your living room is mirrors help in reflecting light they help in distributing light thus making your house seem brighter than it actually is it make a house you know seem brighter if you if if you enter into a house with a mirror and one without you know the one with a mirror will will seem you know kind of brighter than the one without a mirror and reason number three as to why you should use mirror is mirrors mirrors help in you know creating an illusion of a house being poshy you know a house being well put together a house being expensive that is it if you want your house to seem poshy if you want your house to seem you know kind of well put together you should consider using mirrors and the other reason why you should use mirrors for the collision is that they are stylish mirrors are stylish and they are kind of trendy so you should consider using one in your living room and the last reason is they they make a house seem more beautiful if i can say i think i should have put this in the poshy part they make a house seem more beautiful and you know more cozy more more expensive more all that good stuff yeah that is it and now that we know, we know why we should use mirrors in our living room the next obvious question will be where do we place the mirrors where do you actually place your mirrors and you just don't go placing mirrors anywhere just like you you can't put a photo or a frame or a piece of art anywhere that still applies to mirrors you just can't put put mirrors anywhere and number one reason number one factor that you could you should consider when decorating with mirrors is the height you should consider height when placing a mirror on the wall and you you don't want your mirror to be so high above or so low so you should your mirror should be at at your eye level or like approximately five feet from the ground or just at your eye level and number two factor that you should consider when decorating with mirrors is where is the right reflecting from where is the light reflecting from because you want to put your mirror at the direction where the, the light is coming from so if this is your your if this is your window and the the light is coming from your window 
the mirror should be behind it and the other reason you should the other factor that you should consider when decorating with the mirrors is what is your mirror reflecting what is your mirror reflecting because you you want your mirror to reflect something nice something pleasant to the eye something aesthetic you don't want your mirror to be reflecting an ugly thing an ugly portrait and a bathroom or something like that so you should you should put it at an angle or at at a place where it is reflecting something nice like maybe a nice couch maybe a nice piece of art maybe you know just something pleasant to the eyes and mirrors themselves are pieces of art you can use mirrors as a just like you can use a frame to decorate mirrors themselves are pieces of art and they are beautiful at that the other factor that you should consider when when decorating with mirrors is and uh, this is not actually a factor it is a tip if you are using if you are placing your mirror above a piece of furniture you should make sure that the surface of that furniture is empty it is decluttered you do not want your the surface where the service above your mirror to be so cluttered you know so full of being so full of items you want it to be maybe empty because it will be beautiful like that but if you place a lot of things on the service it it will look funny like if you look at the service below my mirror it is it is almost empty i've just placed a cuddle above it and a plant yeah, you don't want to be placing a lot of things there. It will look funny. And that is it above about mirrors. Let me know if you have other tips that we can use when decorating with mirrors on the comment section below. And if you are considering decorating your house, you should consider getting a mirror. And I think I will be attaching some pictures, you know, here and there to demonstrate to you what I mean by that. And also, yeah to give you a, a nice idea about decorating with mirrors thank you so much for watching this video make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and let me see you on my next video bye